students welcome back to our channel my name is Binti and today we are going to learn further in the chapter 1 which we did last video food and health but today's topic is health and diseases let's start with health it is the state of complete physical and mental well-being in other words it could be said that both physical and mental should be perfect, should be fit for a person to be said to be considered to be healthy. A proper food, rest, exercise and correct posture are essential for staying healthy. Next is disease. It is a state in which a function or a part of body is not in a healthy condition. It can occur due to improper diet, lack of rest or lack of cleanliness. However, disease can also occur due to different reasons. But there are two main types of diseases, communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases. Now, let's study about these two. Number one, non-communicable diseases. These diseases do not spread from one person to another. These diseases can be caused due to deficiency of a particular food. Now, let's learn about some of the non-communicable diseases. Now, look at the table given below. This table tells us about the deficiency of disease, then about causes, and third about the lack of food components, especially vitamins and minerals. Number one, night blindness. It is due to vitamin A, and the essentials are papaya and egg yolk. Number two, very very vitamin D, essentials, cereals, and green vegetables. Number three. Scurvy, vitamin C, essentials, lemon and orange. Number four, rickets, vitamin D, and essentials are milk and milk products. Number five, goiter, due to iodine, and essentials, seafood. Number six, that is anemia and vitamin iron, due to spinach and guava. Non communicable diseases can be caused due to certain allergies when a person is sensitive to certain substances like dust, drugs, particular food, etc. Diseases such as heart condition and obesity are caused due to excessive intake of fatty foods. Then diseases such as arthritis, diabetes are caused due to when a part of the body stops functioning. And diseases such as cancer takes or causes due to smoking or excess of drink. Now, it's the turn of communicable diseases. Diseases that are spread from one person to another. These are usually caused by germs. Germs as the disease-causing microbes. These, there are further few types. Spreading germs through direct contact. When a person sneezes or coughs in a public place, Germs released in the air can affect an healthy person, which can even cause more dangerous to an unhealthy person. Number two is spreading germs through uncovered food and water. Uncovered food and water attract flies. As when flies come and sit on them, they have germs on their body, which are through on their uncovered food and water, and later which have been intake by healthy people. Number three. Spreading germs through insects. Mosquitoes and other insects can transmit diseases through bite. When a healthy person is bite by a mosquito, to suck the blood of a malaria person can affect it much more. Thus, these are all the ways or all the communicable diseases transmission. Some common examples of communicable diseases are common cold, tuberculosis, pneumonia. Okay students, that's all in this chapter and I'm sure you will implement all these things that we studied together in this chapter with a better understanding to change your life to a happy and healthy life. Bye!